Ta-da! What do you think? Okay, we are inside the car trying to do something different. I know, I know, some of you may say there is no order in doing things, but trust me there is. In the greater scheme of things, there is. The plan for today, I need to remove this. This is what they call it, the parcel tray. Uh, it's old, it's saggy, and it has some mold to the sides, plus if you can see, those are not the original uh, speakers. So whomever installed them most likely, most likely, uh, tore a hole in this one, so it definitely needs to be removed. By the looks of it, it should be fairly easy. You've got a couple clips, one and two. You've got this one also needs to be removed. That light over there, the third light, I think there is some screws to each side. You just need to unscrew them in order to get it out and remove this hunk of junk. After that, you'll be able to remove this one. Once this one is removed, hopefully we'll be able to look at the damage and how bad this one is because glass definitely needs cleanup and I'm thinking once the cleanup is done uh, it could use a bit of a tent as well so the plan is to tent it plus we still need to remove this the, the seat belts molding pretty much everything that we can remove because definitely needs a bit of a cleanup on this one all right let's take that and move on uh, things escalated just a bit we managed to remove this one, so that is done. Uh, this where it gets a bit tricky because this is the bezel that is there and if you look closely it has a clips to it. So what you needed to do, basically get your hand in with a flathead screwdriver, just unclip it so you practically just push these parts out and basically you can get it out. Once you get it out, you'll be able to remove them. Couple clips at the back, you just remove them as that goes. Then this happened. Uh, I needed to remove some other things, let's just say. I got carried away just a bit. There is a process for this one. Look at that side, just so that I can explain it to you properly. Okay, let me just get in and I'll explain it to you properly. As you can see, you need to remove this one, which means you need to remove the seat belt. So remove this plastic uh, rubber thingy uh, and you'll be able to get the bolt out. Which size? I think it's size 17. Anyway, 16 or 17. Uh, top and bottom. Once you get them out, if you look over here, this is going to be a bit tricky for you to remove. But trust me when I say, you see this? You see this? Yep, they've designed it deliberately so that you can get the seat belt fish it out. At the bottom is easy, just remove that and you'll be good to go. Over there it gets a bit tricky, there's a screw over there. There you go. Once you remove that out, you'll be able to get this one out. I haven't even removed that, see, it's still intact. But because I removed that plastic thingy, I was able to get the seat belt out of it. See, because it's designed that way. Okay. At the bottom, to get that out, you need to remove this to size 10, get them out, that releases this. But to get it out from the bottom, uh, and yeah, of course, there is also one over here. And from the top, from the bottom over there, you kind of need to get the passenger and driver side seal, or uh, what do you call it? They call it the kick panel, which is basically this one. You need to remove this one in order to access this one so that you can put it out. As you put it out, you'll be able to get everything out. Why am I doing all this drama? Because this one needs to be cleaned up. And plus, look at the seat belt. It's just moldy. So it needs to be cleaned up. So I figured I might as well just get it all out. As for the parcel tray, I want to show you. Now, I got one off my friend Kevin, but whatever that I got off him, it wasn't with this this is for the third uh, light which means I'll see if I can salvage this one 
luckily I managed to pull it out without any dent whatsoever. Granted, it is moldy, so I need to treat that out first. But since I'm gonna wash and do the whole drama, I figured I might as well get the seat belts out in order to work them all together. Yep, tedious and annoying, but there is an order to get things out. Uh, I'm trying to record them as much as I can because I'm pretty sure it's gonna take me a while to put them back in. As for those, I got them out. They're actually a the pioneer. Like they're, they're not bad, they're good. But man, they look ugly. Anyways, even these ones, the seat belts, the middle ones, I need to get them out because they're rusty and tired, so we kind of need to clean them up. So the plan is to get them out, clean them, and hopefully everything, once we put it back, it'll be as good as new. I still need to remove this one though. I feel like I need to, for some reason. Unless I can clean it whilst it's there, because I don't want to ruin everything. Everything is tucked properly. So I don't want to ruin it. The minute I start removing things, the headliner is going to sag and problems start to happen. Granted, the headliner definitely needs cleanup. But I bet you I can clean it up without taking it out. Anyways, proceed. Good morning, guys. It's a new day for me and probably it's gonna be the same video for you. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to change this from this ugly, old, aging, and mismatching seat belt molding into this beautiful, shiny, unified color. Look at it. If I told you this used to be beige in color, would you even believe me? I doubt that you would, but look at it. Look, look at the back. See, I didn't even change the back color, just so that you can see the difference. All because of this. Duply color, vinyl and fabric. This works magic, literally works magic. Look at them, just look and compare. See the difference? And mind you, this, is a rubber so basically see i still can move it nothing happens wonderful the plan is we need to paint all those just like we did with this one apologies for the noise outside i had to even to put the garage doors down because of the noise uh, just like when you paint anything else wash it soapy water rub it so that any grease or anything just goes. After that, with uh, wax and grease removal, remove anything else. This, as you can see, wear and tear and aging and probably sunburn. So I figured, since I've already got those in this condition, plus this piece that goes inside, which, yep, different color, it's ugly. And that one used to be beige, so I painted it. I figured muzzle, just paint everything else in one unified color. Same thing that we're gonna do with this one. Because, like I said, this is a fabric one. This is the parcel tray, remember? We cleaned it, it's mold free and everything, and it smells nice and fresh. The only problem is, if you look at it, the color is fading. And this is the problem. It's fading. And that's gonna look aging, aged, not nice, not good. So we're gonna use that to paint this one. Stay tuned for that. Okay, the job is fairly easy. Just line them around and clean them just for final cleanup. Then paint them, basically. This is the third light as well. If you can clearly see, the paint is dry and old, so I figured might as well as well paint it. So I removed all the parts, master lens, so it's basically ready for paint. Let's see how that goes. Give it a quick shake and that should do the trick. Now, heads up, when you spray it, you're gonna look at it and if it appears as if it's over spraying, don't worry about that. This is a specialty paint, so basically the rubber itself will absorb it. So just give it time, okay? Trust the system or trust the process. See? Quick, easy quote, just so that we can clean this side, then we can flip it to the other side, then after that we'll look at any imperfection, and we'll just tackle that. It's just that easy. 
Let me give that one a quick quote and see how that goes. That's it. You just need to let it dry for a bit, have a quick look at it, and give it another shot, and you'll be done. That's it. I'll show you once it's dry, then you'll be the judge of it. Okay? But for now, just look at it. Let me just show you. Let me just show you how it looks now. I just sprayed it now, right? Look at it. I didn't even uh, uh, fast forward or anything. It's just live. This is what you saw. There you go, all of it. So you just need to let it dry just a bit, have a quick look at it, and you'll be done. That's it. Okay, second coat applied, and five minutes later, it's dry, and it looks neat and clean. Look. All unified, and all ready to be used. Heck, look at the third light. Now, this over here, this is where the lens is supposed to be. But look at it. Tell me this is not beautiful. See how even, unified, beautiful color. Look, look, look. You want to see the original color? There you go. And this is just dirty and old and, and whatnot. But look, look how clean. You see the inside? You can see the difference. But I wouldn't be too worried about the inside because it's going to be closed anyways. But look how clean and like I said see ready for touch and there you go that can basically worked wonders over here I wonder if I can actually use it for the trim let me show you what I'm talking about this is the back trim that I have now I cleaned it up okay so it's already clean and all but just look at it this area for example this one was covered by another plastic so you can see the difference in color this is due to dirt gunk and sun and this is the original one that is protected also look over here yeah I've got some scratches and some paint that I can't for the life of me remove it so I was thinking maybe I'll just give it a quick spray and see how it looks actually let's give this one a go and see if it works because at the end of the day it's damaged right so if i can cover it up that will be good if not eh, what's the worst that gonna happen you'll be the judge and you'll be with me on that i mean the color is not perfect match Let's just wait and see once it dries how it's going to look like. Because, yeah, it's uh, slightly off color, but hopefully it'll absorb it. See, like, now you can see it. See? You can see the difference, right? Worst case scenario, I'm going to paint the whole thing just to be safe. But I want to see how it's going to sit. And if it camouflaged it well, then dare I say it's a success. Let's just wait and see. Meanwhile, let's work on something else. Let's get that tray and I'll show you how we're gonna do with that. Cool. Okay, time to paint this one. Just want you to see how it looks and how the colors fading and changing from a place to a place. Plus look at the plastic over here. Just want you just to look at it before. Then as I spray, you'll get to see the difference. Here goes nothing. See, you can already see the difference in color. I'll explain to you how this one works. Because at the end of the day, a lot of people, they're gonna say, yeah, but it's gonna go crispy, and it's gonna be hard, and the paint will paint in your hand, and everything, it's, it's not a dye, it's a paint. So it's gonna stick. And it's designed for fabric. So basically, the fabric itself will absorb it. So it's not gonna be hard, crispy, or the paint will chip afterwards. Let's carry on. 
can see the difference. There you go. Let me finish it up so you can see, the, but you can see the difference between this and that already. So we're doing progress. A few moments later. And now, what do you think? Just look at it. Look how clean the paint came out. Everything looks almost new. And for those who's doubting, look at it. It's not fully dry because I only left it for 10 minutes. But look, I'm putting my finger. What do you see? Absolutely nothing. And the fabric feels fabricy. Nothing crisp, nothing hard. See, nothing, absolutely nothing. Which means it still maintained its own shape and everything, maintained its features as a fabric. But apart from that, it's just perfect. It does look even. In terms of this one, yeah, the color is not the right one because you can see the difference. See? And this is no light, which means you can see it. Which means all what I need to do is just grab another one with a darker shade. This is the shade that I got. I just need just a darker one. And they do have it. So, problem solved. Because look at it. Uh, ignore the color difference. Just ignore the color difference, just for a sec. And look at the fabric. Look at it. You can't even tell, like if you look here, can you tell that it's been painted? No, nah, you can't. Nah, minus the color difference. But see the fabric? See how it looks? Still the same. So this is a good trick to clean it up. That's a success. Uh, oh yeah, let me show you. Show you how the third light turned out. I've reassembled it back again. Check it out check see perfect and this will go right here wonderful that my friends is a success yep I got them out washed them and they're kinda drying out this is just first round and you still can see some stains here and there but apart from that it's all good also I don't know if you follow insta I stitched up this area it's almost OEM for a guy I would say that's actually pretty good I want to show you something this is the headrest at the back you can see the color difference this is this part sprayed this one is not and you tell me which one is better. Look at it. Now, in a perfect world, you kind of need to replace the whole thing. But, I can't. So yeah, look at it. I would say that's actually a pretty good job. I'm gonna continue with everything, just so that you can see the difference once it's all completed, because it needs to dry first. As for that one, I'm not gonna paint it now. I'm just gonna give it uh, another coat of wash using this wonderful machine, vessel, for its wonders, and see if I can clean it up. If I can, it's all good and well. If not, then I'll wait until it dries, then I'll hit it with a bit of a spray just so that I can bring the shine back. Cool. So, as you can see, this has been cleaned up, shampooed and all and left to dry but you still can see some rust and dirt left over mainly in this corner yeah but the rest look at it it's just clean similarly the other side heck the other side is almost new so what do we think we need to do well i figured to try the duplicolor panel and fabric paint as well on this corner and see how it's gonna look like so just remember how it looks now and let me give it a quick coat and see if there is any difference. Cool. It's just basically, as long as it's dry, you can easily paint on top of it. Just spray and you'll be good to go. It's just that easy. 
Ta-da! What do you think? Not bad, eh? Both of them are cleaned. This one is painted, this one is not. So you can clearly tell the sun, the damage that it did cause, whilst the other one, how it's painted and looks fresh. For those who had their doubts about the paint and if it's gonna make it feel different, look at it. Now it does look slightly darker, which is exactly what I wanted because at the end of the day, it's a fabric. So once you rub it, see, see, it reacts exactly like a fabric and it doesn't even feel stiff or hard. There is no nothing like it's not paint. You don't even feel paint. Literally, it feels like it's exactly what it's meant to be. And look, see, see, exactly like a paint proper and there you go this is the area where you used to have some sort of a rust but not anymore and there you go this is the side where we stitched it up see see how it feels just normal car normal fabric and this is where the stitches keep in mind this is just a fabric there you go so from a distance and this is the old one. I would say that's a success. Perfect job. I'm gonna paint the other side as well in order to have it matched properly. And just like that, both of them are painted and ready. I'm really impressed, really impressed with the quality, with the finish and everything. This is something. See, I just literally just painted it. Look at it. Can you hear it? I still can't believe that there is no trace of paint. It doesn't even feel like paint. Wow. Sweet.